Good morning. And welcome to another bright sunny day here in Winnipeg. Okay, what happened here? Well, earlier this morning I came back to the model table and I gave these little parts a second coat. In the rollback you're going to see how we got to the first coat. And uh, we have turned the page again. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can't remember if we turned the page in the rollback or did we do it already in the last episode? I can't remember. Anyway, we're we're uh, getting to. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We're not on step thirty-eight. What happened here? Yeah, we're we're still on thirty-seven. <laughs> Sort of getting ahead of myself there. I guess what happened was I wanted to see what we were going to do in 38 because I was trying to get perspective for for this thing here. I wasn't sure how it went. <laughs> well, I think I've got to figure it out. And if it's wrong, well, uh, you know, in other words, if I got it 180 degrees out, well, it's, it, I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. I don't think it means that parts won't line up or anything like that. I, at, least, at least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, uh, why don't we uh, why don't we roll back and see how we got to this place, and then possibly after that we can start dropping some of these parts down on the deck where they're supposed to go. Okay, so carrying right along here. And I'm quite sure that probably most everybody that's watching right now also watched yesterday's episode and saw where I had accidentally broken the rungs off of that ladder by, by putting it in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And the vibration, it, well, it just couldn't handle it again. I won't be doing that again. I, I thought when it happened a few weeks ago that that was just a one-time thing. Okay, I wasn't going to put the uh, ladder on. I thought, I, I just won't bother. And then I thought, well, let's see what it would look like if it was standing there. And I expected it to show up much worse. Now, you got to realize that we're looking at it fairly close here. And uh, we've got a spotlight on it. So, uh, yeah, that's why we're noticing that some of the rungs are missing. Now, there's a, a very logical explanation to why the rungs are missing on the bottom. And it was Winston Churchill's idea. See, when the Rodney was in port, kids used to play on it. And they used to climb up the, the ladder and go up the mast and fall off and get hurt. And uh, Churchill says, well, why don't you just take the bottom rungs off and then the, the kids can't climb, climb up there. Well, that's what they did. Um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, let's carry on. We are done now with step 36. Okay, I'm glad I put that ladder on. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad. But do me a favor, don't quote me on that story about Winston Churchill. Uh, you know how stories get going. hundred years from now it'll be a fact and in the history books. Okay, um, here we go. 36 is done. And the only thing we had to do here on this section, as near as I can tell, was put on this ladder. Now, we were supposed to put it on with all the rungs, but anyway. Okay. 37. Okay. Well, we get into those uh, gun tubs that we were fooling around with. Uh, they look like they might go fairly quick, except for the painting part. Now, there are a couple of smaller pieces here. Uh, the E26s. Um... Okay, let's uh, sort of recompose and get some of our stuff together. Uh, these ones we've already... Wait a minute. These ones we've already got. So, uh, yeah. Okay, as near as I can tell, we now have all the pieces nipped off the sprues for step 37. And uh, some of them, like, like these, are already cleaned up. But just a little over half of them aren't, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if we're going to get to place any of this stuff yet this evening, but it'd be kind of nice if we did. Okay, so uh, I was saying that it might be nice to be able to 
you know, place some of this stuff here this evening. And it, it would actually be fairly easy to very quickly place some of this stuff. The problem is, I think that it would be a lot better to paint this stuff as a module. For instance, these, these things here, this is supposed to go on the inside here. I think that could be glued in and then the, the the part could be glued on after and it's painted and it'd be a lot easier to, like I say, to paint as a module. Now I was looking at this piece right here. It, it actually goes up here at the bow, in the front rather, and uh, it has these two pieces together, but you will notice that the positioning pins are offset. So that means it can go, you know, it can go this way or it can go 180 degrees the other way, and that that determines as to where uh, where this thing uh, sits on the on the roof here of this part, uh, which has little windows in it here. Um, okay, and I, was, I paged ahead in the manual a bit to try and figure it out. Uh, afterwards, there's another piece, sort of a, a gun tub that goes on the top of this, and some kind of Gun, I forget which one. Uh, okay, we'll get that figured out later. Uh, I think the the uh, thing to do is though we we can glue this on, but actually no, we can't glue it on until I know which way this is going to go. And I I do believe it it has to go like this. Just let me turn it here. Now you can see in in the front here. There's there's two little slots they do go forward but but do, does it go you know this way or does it go 180 degrees the other way and stick out more out the back uh, I have to I'm gonna check ahead and see what it is that we have to put around this thing I got a feeling that the position it's in right now is the correct one um, this this part here I think it goes somehow in between these two um, yeah, is there any? Well, here, here again. There's, there's, there's no positioning pins or anything to, to show where it goes. But I do believe it has to go something like that. Uh, yeah, but like I say, there again. I guess we're just gonna have to kind of eyeball it and get it, you know, in, in between. But it all has to be painted first, so. Uh, I think I'm going to set up and maybe uh, glue these together. Is there anything else that can be glued together? Yeah, this f figure out how this module is supposed to go. I, I would think that the entire thing should be the the lighter gray, like like the number 66. Um, okay. Now this is going to be the the bottom of this thing, and I want the the outside to be the light gray. I want the inside to be the dark gray, like the, the decking part, except for these round circle things, which will have uh, I think it's some sort of triple quad guns or something on it, and they will be the light gray, so they'll sort of contrast. Although they will be pretty much covered up. So we'll just do the, the light gray first and get it done. I'm probably going to need two coats here. And I know people were giving me the gears about, you, you know, using a large brush. But uh, uh, for something like this, I think it's a lot better than a little brush. It, it leaves a lot less lines. And I'm probably going to need to give it two coats. Now right here where the tweezers are, that's going to be on the inside. I might repaint that. I might not even bother because it's going to be on the inside out of sight even where I'm painting right now it's not going to be shown
the outside of what you might call a splinter wall, I guess. But this is going to be in the back, so it doesn't have to be real pretty because I don't want to be making this smaller by putting paint in because it's got, got to have the uh, tripod. This is going to be the underneath. I don't, once again, I don't know how anybody could even possibly see where I'm painting right now. But we'll do it anyway. Okay, now all of the inside here is going to be is going to be painted. There is going to be a little square piece of superstructure goes there. Uh, so when I paint this uh, area here, I don't want to be filling in that uh, positioning thing. Um, okay, you know what? I, I may not need a second coat. Oh yeah, I'll probably do it. All right, now I'm going to set this down somewhere. I'll set it down like this because it's. You know, it's dried right here, so. Okay, now, now these pieces here, you notice they're kind of beveled. So they have to go down on the inside, and we're going to just have them just painted gray. And most of it is going to be covered up anyway. Especially the center where the, where, the, where the green peg goes through. Oh, sorry, I was getting out of your field of view there. piece here. Uh, I should maybe put a little thing of blue tack on there so I can hold it like this. That'll be the best. I'm just gonna recompose here a bit. Okay, I think after a second coat, that's going to look all right. And uh, blue tack. I don't want to fill in these windows too much here, just in case I decide to do something about it later, which I probably won't.
Let's see if I can hold this so that you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I got it on a little bit thick right there, didn't I? Check and make sure there's no other places like that where it's going to obviously show even after it's dried flat. Okay. Now, just, this is some sort of a turret. I believe that on the real Rodney, this actually turned. The top part, that is. And there's some sort of a gun thing going on there. Now remember, this is, this is just the first coat. You know, I, I should have had my camera coming in from my right. Because I like to paint with my right hand and Now these windows, maybe I'll put something in there. I don't know what though, unless maybe that micro crystal clear. I think it's, these are too small for that though. All right, on the top. Now there is gonna be a gun tub going on the top there, so I don't wanna fill in that hole too much. In fact, I don't wanna fill it in at all. All right, let that dry. Put it here for the time being. Now these little these little guys here, these are actually, I believe those are windows. I believe this was some sort of a little lookout that maybe the crew could get in out of the out of the uh, wind and so on. It wouldn't be very big. It wouldn't be much bigger. Yeah, you can see there's a little door on the side there. Let's, let's not paint over that detail. Let's let, we want that to, when that dries, we want that door to be revealed. Okay, and the back and the top, and then we got it. And it looks like something gets mounted on there some sort of an antenna or something. Yeah, I think that'll be okay once it's dry. Okay. Put it over here. Now these will be the dark on the inside. They'll be light on the outside. And don't need to paint the bottom here because that's going to be stuck down onto the onto the deck somehow.
Now the top of this, I don't know if I should paint it the light or not. Well, I am now, aren't I? Okay, I think that's going to be all right for the first coat. Now, is there anything else? Um, okay, I realize it's, it's resting on the foam there, but uh, I, th I think we've got everything for the first coat. What do we got here? It is, you can't see the clock, but it is uh, about one minute to eight in the evening here. Um, I think I'm gonna call it quits for tonight because I can't really do too much until this dries and then I can put the, the uh, second coat on. And then, and then a little later we'll put on the, uh, the number uh, 66 and uh, I mean the 77, the darker gray, where it's supposed to go. Okay, just, uh, I'll just I'll just back off and you can see how I've got everything here. Okay, we'll get my little paintbrush cleaned up and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and I have just finished uh, putting on the. Uh, number 77 here on the inside where the you might say the platforms are like where the gun is going to mount I wanted that darker so it sort of matches the platforms for everything else um, yeah and then just a moment here put this down carefully And I, I have, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I, I did give the uh, 66 a second coat everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> now, this is also the 77 that you're looking at, still a little bit wet in places, and 66 on the outside. Now, we are, once again, we are not going to see the bottom. It's going to sit like this on the deck. Um... This piece here, it has something else go on the top of it. So I, I didn't paint the inside because we're not going to see it. I think we're about done with this. Okay, th this should be dry now. Uh, we're going to have to wait a few minutes though. Because, uh, you know, our paint is still wet as you can see. Alright, um... Uh, Let's uh, recompose here and uh, 
see what we can do next. Probably in about, uh, I'm guessing, half an hour I should be able to work with this. It, 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 it looks blotchy right now, but I, I think that uh, once this all dries, it'll blend. I don't think I'll have to give the 77 a second coat. I put it on fairly thick, and I used a, a new jar that had not been thinned. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to need a second coat. And, and anyway, once, once the, there's something on, on the platform there, it's going to look so busy, you're, you're not going to notice if there's any little blemishes. Now, now these pieces here that are done in the, in the 66, they're going to drop down in contrast with the 77. I, th I think that will kind of add to it. Uh, but once again, there's going, to be a, there's going to be a gun mounted on there. So, Okay, enough talk. Okay, time is getting on here this morning, and uh, well, these go on here. I think they're going to fit okay. Should be all right. I think I'll. I think I'll just use. Uh, where's my other glue here? I don't want. I don't want it to run out onto the deck. Well, we do have the extra thin. Um, what happened to my other glue? Well, I suppose we could use the extra thin. Just use my finger here. Put a little bit more pressure on it. I know I'm putting quite a bit in there. I guess you probably can't see it, but it it is it is melding. Okay, that's that. that the right way. Oh yeah, there we go. Once again, that, when that cures or dries out, it's not coming off. Now 
I'm noticing in the in the corner there the paint's not quite dry. I guess it got a little extra thick there. I'm gonna do a a dry run here. Oh yeah, that's gonna fit okay. some on the paint. Well, I'm not going to try and get that off. If I try to wipe it off, I'll take the paint with it. Sorry about my fingers being in your road here. Okay, that is going to make a nice weld or meld. Now, I have an important appointment at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I'm going to have to wind this video up as much as I uh, would like to keep going here. I'll probably be working at it again this evening. From your perspective, you can't see underneath there, but all right. Let's see, is there anything else we can quickly do here? Now, I'm noticing that the uh, I was saying that I probably didn't need to do two coats on this, but you know what? I can see now that it looks a little bit, you might say, blotchy on the deck here, deck part of this, and uh, this one as well. So I might I might go over this later with the uh, 77 and just now like I say there's going to be something on there. Just, just let me get something. I, I'm pretty sure that I know what goes on there. Ah, we'll forget about it. You know what? I gotta wrap this video up for today because I gotta get out of here pretty soon. So thanks for watching everybody and all being well. We'll be seeing you tomorrow.